Hi, guys. Um, it is my pleasure to present this award to our next honoree. He's a friend. He's also really handsome. Jada, I'm not trying to hit on you, man. <laughs> He's really charming, happens to be really talented at what he does. He's also the most considerate man I know. He keeps everyone smiling always. He's a father of two beautiful boys, a husband to the most amazing woman in the world, a published author, royalty. What does he not do? I really can't tell you because he seems to be the better version of anyone great that I've ever met. With all of that, he is one of the most humble and grateful people I've ever had the pleasure of knowing. When I first met Alexei Lubomirsky, he was going out on his own after having worked with one of the biggest fashion photographers in the world. Humble in his approach, he always possessed this quiet confidence that made me and many other people feel comfortable in making him a, partner, a trusted partner in business from the very beginning. We were kids then, but what I loved about him most was that while we were able to have our fun, as kids do, we both recognized in each other that we wanted to do more in life, be bigger, bolder, better than the rest. It did not take long for him to rise in the ranks to become one of the premier fashion and beauty photographers in the world and go-to lensmen for the likes of Beyonce, Julia Roberts, Lupita Nyong'o, Salma Hayek, Katy Perry, Jennifer Lopez, Sarah Jessica Parker, a lot of terrible people, <laughs> and uh, worked for such prestigious brands as Maybelline, L'Oreal, um, Lancome, and countless editorial partners like Vogue and Bazaar. It was amazing to watch his rise, and still is, but what I can say is, this was only the beginning. The validation that Alexi got through the work only solidified his voice in the world. He made sure that his success incorporated his core values of understanding to the work, the importance of diversity, authenticity in the work, and community are all drivers of his success. Long before Donald Trump lit a match under the world to become less apathetic in their being, Alexei was organically using different types of beings from different backgrounds in his work. Alexei took a stance very early on in support of animal rights as it relates to his work, not only in his daily life and not because he was seeking some sort of validation from a public. He created a YouTube channel predicated on informing new photographers of what to expect on their quest for success, a quite selfless exercise. He is aware, but he's also of good moral standing. And while we are celebrating him for his achievements in photography, we should also celebrate him for his integrity and his graciousness. Traits which will surely be passed down to his two young sons, and because of that, there is hope for the future. Alexei Lubomirsky, I present to you the Photographer of the Year Award for Daily Front Row. That was, my mom's gonna love that. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, first of all, thank you to the Daily Front Row for this award. It's an amazing honor. Uh, and before I get into trouble, I have to thank my studio manager, Emily Ulrich, and my amazing uh, agent, Anne de Boucheron, who makes everything that is wonderful happen. Um, one of the most common questions that I get asked is, who is your muse? And I always give the same answer that my wife, Jada, is my uh, inspiration. I'm going to start crying. All right. <laughs> my wife is Cuban-Italian. She is fiercely passionate about everything that she does. She speaks three languages. She's international, intelligent, compassionate, creative, an eco-warrior, an amazing dancer, has fantastic style, and, a, and as an added bonus, she has a smile that can part the heaviest of clouds. I realized looking back on my work that more and more it is because of the strong women in my life, like Giada, that I've been influenced in how I want my female subjects to be represented. The women in my life are not objectified, they are celebrated. They are not dependent and lifeless, they are strong, happy, and confident. So baby, thank you for being my daily inspiration. Love you. Um, secondly, I want to talk about what a blessing it is for us to be able to work in this industry. We are all so lucky to be able to pursue our passions as a, as a full-time career and to get to do what we love every single day. This is a blessing that I do not take lightly, and I believe that with this great blessing comes a greater responsibility for us all to make this industry the best version of itself that it can be. This job and the enjoyment that comes with it should not come at the expense of others, whether it is people, animals, or the environment. 
We should all try to leave this industry in a far better place than it was when we entered it. We should want to look back at the end of our careers and say that we made the right choices when they mattered and that we stood on the right side of the fence concerning the important issues of today. We have to constantly focus on diversity in our magazines and campaigns. This is not something that we can address once and then forget about it. It is a constant question where we look at our magazine layouts on the wall and ask ourselves if we are showing a balanced representation of skin colors, body types, and ethnicities. Boom. It is a challenge that needs addressing until the day when it just becomes second nature. We also need to ask ourselves if we're standing on the right side of the argument when it comes to the use of fur. If we support and encourage fur in fashion, we have to ask ourselves how many degrees of separation are there between us and Donald Trump Jr. standing over a dead lion that he just shot. Let's move on from this as an industry because, and be better for it because it is simply the right thing to do. We, we can no longer hide behind the glossy pages of a monthly magazine the way we used to before the digital revolution. The world is watching us every second on social media and we cannot afford to make rash mistakes by ignoring the diversity issue or working with people with a history of abuse or flagrantly disregarding sustainable methods of producing fashion. Times are changing fast, especially now. And if we as an industry do not overcome these issues soon, we will seem very out of touch very, very quickly. On the flip side, we are fortunate to be working at a very exciting time full of opportunity. All conversations are on the table and the ground is fertile for real change. We just all have to want to make the required steps. And it is possible. If there's one thing that the fashion industry has never had a problem with, it is demanding stuff. We are gold medal Olympiads when it comes to demanding stuff. So let's use that demanding power and demand the right stuff moving forward. Let's demand diverse casting. No fur, greener shoots, and respectful behavior towards each other. All of these are wonderfully possible, though not always easy. But as I found for myself, you will feel amazing when you make a stand for a decision that is right, and not just for your benefit, but also for the benefit of others. Lastly, I wanted to say that I had intended to come up here and try, probably in vain, to be funny, charming, and most of all, gracious. But it is not often that I have a captive audience of some of the most influ influential people in our industry. And I truly believe that we all need to be vocal and stand up for the issues we care about most in this world, for ourselves, for our children, and for our industry. I love what I do, and I want to continue working alongside the best in a diverse, respectful, and sustainable workplace. So thank you very much for listening to me, and thank you for this award. Thank you.